Have you ever read some code so horrible that you wanted to curse whoever wrote it? And then you realize that your code? <laughs> I must confess, this happened to me when reading code I wrote years ago. But thanks to Nest.js, I've significantly improved over the years. And that's because Nest.js teaches you design patterns, best practices that apply to almost any programming languages or framework. In this video, I'll show you how Nest.js opinionated structure can improve your coding skills across the board. And I'll show you the universal programming principles hidden in Nest.js. And by the end of this video, you see why Nest.js is more than just a framework. It's a powerful tool for leveling up your programming skills. So what makes Nest.js such a powerful tool for improving your coding skills? It all comes down to its opinionated nature. So you might be thinking, opinionated, isn't that a bad thing? Well, not always. You can see Nest.js as a strict but very helpful mentor that pushes you to structure your code in a way that makes sense. So it got some strong opinions about how things should be done. And trust me, these opinions are worth listening to. One of the key things Nest.js pushes for is a modular structure. So it's not just suggesting this, it's practically just forcing you to organize your code in modules. At first, it might be a little bit annoying, but here's the thing. This modular approach makes your code more maintainable and scalable. It's like organizing your closet, everything has its place and you can easily find what you need. Another big deal in Nest.js is dependency injection. Imagine you're at your desk coding and you need a cup of coffee. So you could get up and make your own coffee or you could have a personal assistant who brings you coffee whenever you ask. Which one would you prefer? So that's dependency injection. So in Nest.js, classes define what they need and Nest.js acts as a personal assistant by providing those dependencies to the classes. Nest.js also loves decorators. So these are special markers you can use to add metadata to your classes and methods. So this might seem a little extra work at first, but they are incredibly powerful. It's like adding labels to your code that makes it self-explanatory. Now here is where it gets really interesting. These architectural choices that Nest.js promotes, they are not just completely random. So they align perfectly with some universal programming principles known as solid principles. For example, the modular structure follows the single responsibility principle. So each module is responsible for one specific feature for or one specific functionality. It's like having a toolbox where each tool has a specific job. The dependency injection system, that's dependency inversion principle in action. So it helps create a clear separation between high level modules and low level details. And those decorators that I've mentioned, they are a great example of open closed principle. So you can extend functionality of existing classes without modifying their code. So as you can see, Nest.js isn't just teaching you how to use the framework, it's also guiding you towards universal best practices that will make you a better programmer, regardless of the language or framework you're using. Nest.js gives you winning recipes, but if you blindly follow the recipe, you won't really learn how to cook. You have to take a step back and look at the principles behind the recipes. So that way you can apply those principles and patterns in other contexts as well. But it doesn't stop there. On top of the code architecture and design patterns, the Nest.js framework strongly hints universal best practices that are easily transferable to other frameworks or programming languages. Let's start with input validation. So in Nest.js, you can use data transfer objects and pipes to make sure that the data is in the right format before it hits the root handlers. But this concept isn't unique to Nest.js. Many other frameworks and languages have similar tools for input validation. So the key is to understand why it's important and how to implement it effectively. Next up, we've got error handling. So Nest.js uses exception filters to catch and process errors. It's like having a safety net for your code. And if something goes wrong, the exception filters catches and it decided how to respond. This concept is crucial in any programming language or framework. And authentication and authorization are also a big deal in Nest.js. They are handled through guards and think of guards as security team, 
for your application, does it check if the users have the right credentials to access certain areas? So this concept is universal in web development, whether you're using Node.js, Python, or any other language. So you'll need to implement some sort of authentication and authorization. And lastly, let's talk about logging. So Next.js provides a built-in logger, but the concept of logging is important in any application. It's like keeping a diary for your code, helping you understand what's happening and why. Good logging practices can save you hours of debugging time regardless of what languages or framework you're using. The beauty of learning these practices in Next.js is that they are transferable. So once you understand the principles behind them, you can apply them anywhere. It's like learning to touch type once you know how to do it on one keyboard, you can do it on any keyboard, not just on the one you've learned on. When you work with Nest, you're not just learning a framework, you are internalizing programming principles that will stick with you for life. So these practices become second nature. You'll find yourself automatically thinking about modularity, dependency injection, and clean error handling in every project that you work with. Improving your programming skills is great, but ultimately the only thing that really matters in the real world is can you work in a team and deliver consistently at a high pace with good quality? So you can watch this next video to understand what it takes to build a large scale Nest.js application that remains simple and well organized.